He knows the northern Gulf of Mexico like the back of his sun-browned hand. But four years after the nation's worst offshore oil spill, Louisiana fisherman George Barisich is in uncharted waters. Will I be healthy enough to rebuild my oyster farms? Will I be healthy enough to shrimp full time? If the stuff does come back and if the prices come back, the if, the if, the if, the if is driving me nuts. Barisich was one of thousands of fishermen who used their boats to help clean up the millions of gallons from the BP oil spill. In countless days of, of just feeling bad, you know, the way I couldn't work. Yeah. It's just, it's scary. The whole, the, the whole realm of it. He says he developed respiratory ailments, including pneumonia, and is now filing medical claims under a settlement BP reached with cleanup workers. Bert Decody blames a recurring skin condition on the spill. He's filing a claim as well. No matter the earth's one thing, but to our, our, our personal bodies are, uh, have been contaminated to where money can never replace our health. Researchers say there's no way of knowing if the men's health will suffer in the future, whether spill-related illnesses, such as cancer, will develop. Now, it's too soon, even after four years, to observe that. But there's enough, to, enough reason to be concerned. BP is helping to fund a number of university and government studies looking at the long-term health effects of the spill. My major fear is, it, is it going to get worse? As I get older, is my body going to be less tolerant of my issues? For Barisich and thousands of others, the answers may not come for years. Stacy Plaisance, Associated Press.